Oh boy, couldn't last, could it? All right, hey, let's talk about the warmer weather here and our pets who are spending more time outside in the spring and summer. We've got to deal with allergies, also humidity and bugs. They can cause hot spots that make your dog or cat really focused on the dog right now miserable. Here's Indie Vets, Dr. James Spicer and Rosie here with uh, some tips on how to treat these things. I mean, this is a seasonal problem here. But let's start. What what are hot spots? Well, you know, hot spots are just red, moist, oozing sores that can develop virtually Ew. anywhere on the body. Rosie, of a, do you have any hot spots? No. She has had a hot spot okay. in the past. But they can start out small, maybe the size of a dime or a quarter. They're kind of itchy, but they can very rapidly expand and become extremely painful. Now, they're more common in dogs that have very heavy uh, hair coats or undercoats like golden retrievers, Labradors, mm. uh, Collies, Spaniels, and so forth. Golden doodles. Golden doodles yeah. like yours, mm -hmm. absolutely. So those are what kind of hot spots are. They, they become all-consuming, right? I mean, the dog seems, that becomes their sole focus because they're so uncomfortable. Well, yeah, what happens actually is anything at all that starts the dog biting, scratching, or chewing at its mm -hmm. skin uh, can cause or be the source of a hot spot because what happens is they cause little microscopic tears in the skin then staphylococcus can get into the skin and then we get this infection and that's when these things really take off and I can't stress enough that a very small little sore can expand and be huge in the matter of just a few hours so it's something you really want to attend to if you see a, so a how, hot spot. How do these things form in the first place? I know what makes it bad but is it is it the allergy allergens? Is it something in the diet? Most Fleas, often, allergies, any sort of irritant on the skin, um, even mats that are tightly uh, matted that's causing an irritation, so the animals bite oh, and okay. chew can actually create the hot spot. All right. So how do how do we treat them? And I guess once we've conquered it, how do we keep it from happening again? Well, the treatment, the fundamental treatment, is getting all of the hair clipped off the affected area. That's primary. And it can be very, very difficult. We commonly have to sedate animals because it's so painful. Sure. But after that, we can uh, basically use a disinfectant or even good old soap and water hmm. on it. And then we can apply a topical medication of antibiotics or anti-inflammatories. Typically, if they're properly treated, they'll scab up and heal up in a week or 10 days. Uh, have you heard of, or do you recommend apple cider vinegar on the dog food for some, like where, where maybe it's a dietary? No, I have no? not heard that. Okay, well, will you check but, that one out for me because we've heard that that's a good remedy. Well, there actually are some things that people can do to help prevent hot yeah. spots. Well, and, that's what I mean. Yeah, well, here's, here's what you can do. Brush your animal. Get yeah. rid of all that extra fur. Uh, certainly use a good flea uh, medication on a monthly basis. A little front line. Uh -huh. If they have allergies, make sure they don't run out of their medication, make sure they're properly medicated. And if your dog gets into something that you feel is an irritant to the skin, give them a bath, get it off of there. Those things alone can prevent a lot of hot spots. Rosie, did you just look at me when your dad said irritant? I hope you yes. did. Yes. Dr. Spicer, always <laughs> love when you come by and thanks for bringing Rosie here. Uh, Dr. Spicer is with IndyVet Emergency um, and Specialty Hospital, if you like a list of all their services and what you can learn from them. We've got a link for you at fox59.com. You go have a good day. Jim, good to see you as always. Thanks a Thank lot. You. All right, let's talk weather here.